right, guys. We're gonna eat ass and rank some videos. And guess what? We're all full of ass. What? The first purple video we're ever making ranking the cards. I, I think he's hyping up. I don't know. <laughs> Yo, welcome back One Piece Nation. Today we got for you the purple color tier rank. Boom, boom, boom. All right. <laughs> so today we are joined by Cesar. Hey, I am Cesar. Miguel. What it do? Mr. Gonzalez. Howdy. All right. Yeah, just so drop the last off. name, brother. Just dox him. You want his social security yeah. info? I got you. All right, big owl, whatever. <laughs> <laughs> now you get to dox right. his first name? No, I'm sorry. Let's go. Let's go. Who right, uh, can someone cool, help right? me with this first card? Because I do not read Japanese. So what's this? Yo, I, I read perfect Japanese. And what this guy is called is type 2 diabetes, brother. Hey, bro. That's not, <laughs> don't talk to him like that. Bro, that's just his culture, bro. That's his, uh, that's his way of life. <laughs> that's the way of sumo. That's all I'm saying. <laughs> Why is he in Basuda? <laughs> <laughs> because he is a seven drop nine K. Listen, he is actually the actually a change because Ben Beckman came out, but he is the only seven drop vanilla that's nine K power in this game. But purple is all about the big boys with big numbers using all your energy, and there's like a hundred better options to play than this seven drop. Basura. I agree. Yeah. You'd rather have an effect. <laughs> you rather you rather play the Kaido. You rather play a king. You rather the play king. a queen. Yeah. Uh, the I would like to say I'd rank them in the same taste of my women. It's straight trash. What? What? Ah. Run towards red, red flags, kid. <laughs> All right. And for our next card, we have Ulti looking fine. She's a two drop 3000 power striker. That on play for one energy, you can add a Dawn card from your Dawn deck and rest it. So, kind of goes with the theme of purple. I kind of like it. I don't know. It doesn't have no combo power, though, so. I think you she's good, play. but I think she's just a worse on Nagashima. Yeah. I think you I'm would not, rather would... you rather play all three copies of Onigashima before you even want to play this. And because she has no counter power, you don't even have the excuse to play this once, and then you can counter it later. I put yeah, her it doesn't, doesn't have any use for you right now. Dang, I, that sucks. That, such a good effect, but just such a bad overall card. I put it either <laughs> bottom of good or top of potential. The bottom good. Yeah, okay. could be. It, it could become like a objection in this game for like DBS, you know, yeah. or just ramp with two energy. If you need, if you really needed to ramp out fast for something, well, this could three be energy, good. three energy. Yeah, Onigashima and this could be ramping fast. Well, one hundred percent, yeah. Imagine yeah. Onigashima, this, and then you even have the Kaido ability pop off. That's three Kaido energy. Turns ahead. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> All right. For our next card, the world's strongest creature, Kaido, 10 drop. <laughs> <laughs> My guy is. <laughs> no! There we <you> go. <laughs> All right. So his effect on play for minus six dawn. If your leader card has the Animal Kingdom Pirates trait, you knock out all characters other than this one i think this is a staple like yeah. that's not staple my bad uh possibly meta you could argue only because he literally just nukes the field both sides yeah i mean possibly meta just because it's so busted but it is still a staple any purple thing is gonna run it Nuke yeah. in the field when no, they're swarming see, you no no so no good. you have to have an animal kingdom pirate yeah but 90 percent of not the, gonna do that 90 percent of the purple leaders are animal kingdom but i understand what you mean i understand I think I, I've seen some Kaido decks to run it because here's the thing. He's really good in conjunction in only if you're like one life or you're so badly placed and they're swarmed with like blockers or like have a full field. Yeah, because he kills your own stuff too. Yeah, yeah. so he he's situational, right? But does that situational mean he's meta or playable? If you guys say meta, meta. I'll stick with you. I, I say meta just because think about it. Because we were talking about this in the, uh, to reference our blue uh, tier list video. As a boss monster, he's so good. 10 for 12. Yeah. As opposed to like, well, like I think the only other 10 drop I think is Shanks and he's only 10 or 9, right? Or 10? Uh, and I believe, I don't remember. Off the I top just think of my he's head. like super like 
They gave him they gave him a lot. Basically. He definitely has he his had... advantages too, because like Gio mentioned in a prior video, or it was just discussion. Uh, you can swim with all your little fodder first and then play the Kaido, right? Exactly. Yeah. That's actually a very good strat to do that too. Yeah. And then plus, you really got to think, unless you're playing like red that has rush or, or maybe even purple rush, uh, they're not. They're only going to be able to swing at you at leader. So as long as you're not at no life, they're not going to kill you the next turn. And now you're going to have a 12k every single turn after. So you know what? I agree with that. I th I'll keep. I'll, I'll I'll keep with meta. I'll keep with meta. But let's go up with Giovanni. Okay. Uh, we have Kyushiro. A Kyoshi roll? Kyoshi roll. There we go. I'm going to take a Rosetta Stone for you guys one day. <laughs> uh, five drop, 6k power slash, baby, because he's got the sword, so he's a slasher. He's got a thousand counter power. Then on play, if you have eight or more Dawn cards on your field, draw one card. And purple don't draw that much. And five for six, at least it does something. Plus a 1k counter power. I think he's. I, I think he's good. Level. He's not nothing to write home about, but I mean, yeah. drawing a I, card is good, and he's a five for six, so he's not so easily removable. I think your consensus is right on the money. All right. So on what good? Uh, yeah, good, high end, good. Yeah, I, there's definitely better five drops because you got to remember he's not even searchable. If you have your searcher, you can at least draw, which I prefer as a better five drop. The uh, the X Drake right here, which we'll get into is sooner or later. But I agree with good. I agree with good. Definitely above ulti. Loki seeing him next to ulti makes me want to put ulti lower <laughs> into potential. But yeah. I don't know. <laughs> it's like, because like I said, ulti has her situations, but nine times out of ten, you want, you'd rather just have Onigashima. Yeah. You'd rather have Onigashima. Okay. And I accidentally skipped my favorite human in the entire world, Alex. Alex, go up with yep. King, baby. Talk about that king right there, baby. Because you are my king. Do you understand me? Do you understand me? Yes, daddy. <laughs> what? Well, 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 we're in a oh, video well, right now. Calm down. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, Sponge. We're airing SpongeBob after this, dude. Come on. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Anyways, back to the cards, people. Uh, seven drop king, seven thousand power. This attribute is special. Ooh. That's what my mom calls me. <laughs> she puts an ed at the end though yeah. <laughs> on play like, for minus two player. dawn scale one of your opponent's characters with an energy cost three or less and one of your opponent's characters with an energy cost two or less i think he's bottom of very playable or top of good i think i think bottom of very playable. yeah i think he's he's unique in a way that he actually pops two cards obviously to pop both it's conditionally though i don't think there's another card like that and there is i'm sorry if there is i'm uh, sorry honestly, I think Dude, there I are throughout because I, if I I remember there's going to be one more card that has a similar effect. He's going to yeah. be cheaper though. But uh I think I think he should be bottom of very playable. But yeah. but yeah. And then think not. about this. Other than blue, I'm he literally takes out multiple blockers. blockers. That's true. He only takes out but, two blockers and truthfully there are better blockers out there right now. No, but They're like all all the three or higher three blockers are blue that you run most every everyone just runs one maybe two drop blockers yeah but literally against red this is like a super punch to the face That's, <laughs> you get rid of the nikos you get rid of the blocker like there's yeah. tons of stuff like getting rid of two cards and you're getting a seven for seven like yeah. that's a lot like this is this is literally all i always want from cards like molt like not one big pop but two little pops that that's a lot of value and especially like Gio said, it's a seven for seven. So even if you use the effect, you're you still have a seven K beat stick. Yeah, he's not gonna be that easy to get rid of. And in an energy ramping deck, if you get Onigashima early, you should probably could be playing this like turn three, oh, turn four. Energy. Yeah, well, I mean that's the whole theme of purple. Two isn't even that bad. Kaido, everything for Kaido, you're playing a nine and ten drop. They're getting rid of five six energy. Yeah. So two sounds like a value. <laughs> yeah, and if you play this in Blurple Kaido, uh, you're get it's basically a minus one dawn. These are or getting free if you got Kashima. Yeah, but that's a whole turn right there. Not a bad turn. So next up is Queen, six drop, five thousand power, counter one thousand on play dawn minus one. This character gains rush during this turn, then give one of your opponent's character minus two power during this turn um i think the value is insane 
I don't. I would definitely rank this. You get a lot for this card too. Yes. That's what I noticed. In purple, like they get a lot of extra stuff they get to do. I think it's because it's the yeah. higher energy purple, cost that a lot of the cards are. Here's the thing. The bad thing about the queen, the queen feels like it's a rush. It is rush, but it, it wants to play in a faster deck, even though it is six energy. I think it's either top of good or next to king and play very playable. Yeah, I think it's very playable. It's good, but realistically, it's a rush Zoro that minuses two. That is and true. Three, three more energy for it. But That's I mean, it's true. purple, it's ramp. It makes more sense why it's so much more. Plus, yeah. I think he has a counter power too, which is good. Zoro doesn't have that. Yeah, but the thing is, if you're playing a card with rush nine times out of ten, you are going to swing with it. The counter will never come up. Eh, it's still nice. Trust me. When I'm playing red, I, there's tons of times I got a couple extra rush Zoros on my hand that are dead. I feel you. I feel you. So we're saying above or below the queen or the king? Below king. Next up, we got Giovanni. All right. Kurozomi Rochi. It sounded right, right? Or was that racist? Because I said it all weird like that. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> He's a one no, drop. Don't worry. We'll, we'll take that out of post, bro. We'll take that out of post. <laughs> no. All right, we got one drop 2k power. Uh, what is that? Wisdom. Uh, counter 2000, and then on play, you reveal one artificial devil fruit smile from your deck and add it to your hand, then shuffle your deck. That has to go to potential because the artificial devil fruits still haven't been made yet. So. They have been made, but they might get like, they might get more support. No, there's definitely artificial. I'm looking at it right now. Artificial double fruit. You want to scroll down and pull oh, it up? Oh, you're right. You're right. Yeah. Joel was telling me earlier that they were made. Yeah, Joel was wrong. We all told him that. I'm sorry, Joel. You know, I hope you don't watch this video. <laughs> he said the there might be paired... more support, if anything. Yeah, like I actually run this card in my Kaido deck, but I don't even run the artificial double fruit smile. He's literally in there just for the 2K combo power. Listen, I think you're insane. I think there's more cards that you would rather run the 2000K power. I, I literally I, saw you counter him. Watch uh, this week's uh, versus battle to find out. I saw you counter him with today's versus battle. I don't I don't know why you run him. Yes, he's 2K power, but I would rather play other cards. I mean, just being real, like you'll, you'll see as we go through the purple tier list, there's there's maybe four or five cards that actually combo for 2K in purple. Yeah. Like, look, we'll, we'll, we'll do the math. I'm telling you, there's really like four okay. or five cards that have So 2K we'll power. have the 2000 counter power uh, counter on the top right or something. I yeah. think even though you run it, I know you run it. I think it's either potential, like Michael said, or below the ulti. I'll put above the ulti to make you happy. I say potential. I say potential only because it's like, I feel like there's still more for him to be brought out of, like more artificial devil fruits. Yeah. It, like honestly, any any other thing currently, I, well, I could you could you could say potential because if they come out with another artificial devil fruit, you know, that makes it better. A better engine but, for uh, it. Yeah. Uh, for, for literally right now, uh, we're only running him just because of the 2k power. As soon as they come out with more purple cards, he's the first thing to get replaced. Exactly. Yeah, that's okay. That's potential. Okay. And now we have Michael. Ah, uh, yes. Um, Next is Kurozomi Semimaru. Uh, he is a 2 cost 3000 power with 1000 combo. And... His effect is Kurozumi family type characters other than your Kuro Kurozumi Semimaru cannot be KO'd in battle. So basically, that gives you the infinite blocker wall. I think he's that's a staple at the least with the other one that's going to come up next. Just because it's like, I've never not seen a purple deck run it. I have a purple deck. <laughs> no, run it. <laughs> it's purple. It's purple. It's purple. It's purple. Let me what I said. I've never seen a purple deck with someone that's relevant. Not oh, right. okay. Yeah, I'm pretty irrelevant. Yeah, you're right. You're right. Irrelevant, not irrelevant. Okay, you know what? Yeah, I can't no, English. You are relevant. You're irrelevant. <laughs> um. So, uh, yeah, I think staple makes sense because I think we always wanted a blocker that always lives because you're either countering, you're putting down yeah, counter you know, power right? to make a blocker live. But let's go up with... uh with alex garashi yeah i don't know how to say her name i'm not gonna attempt it <laughs> just call her the love of your life baby look at that smile let me just give it your a, give future it a little... wife she's a two drop blocker three thousand power and isn't she the one that can become indestructible yep yes yes, yes. she's the infinite, infinite blocker yes yeah, it's, it's, uh... it's just gonna be a staple just because like the combo is strong if you want to get rid of her 
Wait, it, uh, what was the old man again? Is it only through battle? Yeah, in battle. You have to get rid of the old man first. <laughs> The Robin can remove her still, so it's not like the infinite blockers, they're not like invulnerable until you get rid of the old man, but like for the most part you can free block without worries. They put the work in though. Yeah, they put the work <laughs> in. They put the work in. Next up is Sasaki. I want to say Sasagio every time. I love Attack on Titan. He's Good a three drop four K power, Dawn times one, two thousand counter power. Put that Put up, up there. Two. Put it up to two on the counter. Dawn times one. When attacking, you may trash one card from your hand, add one Dawn card from your Dawn deck, and rest it. So, you're basically adding a Dawn your next turn and going for life because with a Dawn during your turn, it'll be a 5k swing. I think... I think it's better than the Orochi. I don't think it's very playable because... Three and lower, I think we all agree, is that sweet spot where it's very like three and lower is easy to remove. You know, would you all agree? Yeah. yeah. Uh, like, honestly, I run them at four too, but solely, like I said, the two K combo, the two yeah. K counter. I, I would never really play him. I think, I think if you need to use him, you need to attack with him. Like you just want to swing in. He definitely has his values because you're getting a dawn, you're ramping and swing for a hit. I think yeah, he's I mean, good. If I, if I wanted to use my energy, sure, but yeah. <laughs> most I, scenarios is not my first pick. I put top of good or bottom of very playable because he hit. Because Gio almost brought this man to very playable on the sole reason of two thousand counter power. So I'll let you guys decide. I'd say top of good because I feel like combo power. Yes, is very like a big necessity, but like I feel like that shouldn't be a deciding factor to move something up a tier that much. Yeah, it's, it's just because it's so early. The counter power is like super relevant. Okay. Anyways, we'll just leave him in good. I think that's fine. Huh. He's still seeing more play than uh, Kyushi Rashu and Ulti. Alright, next up, we got Jack Attack. He's a 3-drop 4k power slasher. He's got a 1,000 counter power, and then when he attacks, you remove a Dawn, and your opponent trashes a card from their hand. So, I like him a lot, just because the hand destruction Staple. is fire, bro. <laughs> I know he's a 4k, but... Uh... I, I really just play them just so I could kill a card on their field, hopefully, and remove a card from their hand. That sounds really good. And what's interesting about him is you couldn't place the Dawn under him and then remove it because then you wouldn't be attacking anything unless it was already at 4K, you know? Yeah. So you couldn't be cheeky like that. Um, I, I, uh, what do you guys think? If Top they ever come out with the super hand destruction deck, this guy is going to be very playable. Yeah, I think he's top of very playable. Top? No. Uh, nah, nah. There, there's some really good cards on very playable, bro. He, 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 like top of good, bottom of very playable. The thing is, is like he's just I so cheap. So, so I don't, do I don't play purple. Sports. I, I, I only have a blurple Kaido deck. I know nothing about like the ratios. What's good? Every purple deck I've made, he's in it. Yeah, the hand destruction is always fire. Mm -hmm. But what happens when you play him? I kill him, right? Yeah. Yeah. That's uh, that's why it he saves me another turn. <laughs> I would say at least above Queen. Remember, you're trying to save up for the boss monster. You're just trying to uh, improve your chances to survive. If you guys, if you guys think it's very, if you guys think it's staple, I'll put it in staple. If you think it's very playable, I think, it's, I think it's very playable. I don't think it's staple. I'll put it uh, above the Queen or below the Queen. Or saying very playable. Yeah. Okay. Next is uh, Scratchman Apo. Four cost, six thousand power, and one thousand counter power. Uh, he's basically a beat stick in my opinion. Pretty cheap beat stick, but I don't know. I would put him in, I guess, good, just because he's cheap and you can go for life early. Yeah, I. Uh, I couldn't hear what you said. I'm either I'm debating between good or potential. Yeah, it's like it's up in the air, like. It's not the best, it's not the worst. Because you can't sniff out, you can't like scuff out the 6k power, but it's... I'll put it, I'll put it potential. Next up is we have speed. She's a 2 cost, 3000, attribute strike. She has a counter and a trigger, but I think she's trash. Yeah, she's 100% trash. Basura. I really hate, Huge. I really hate with a passion these generic trigger 2k and their 3000 power like no yeah, one will ever run the combo 
Yeah, if it listen, if it's under like 5k, I don't even <laughs> like want to consider it. Bro. If it's Does under it 5k have, with no skill, fire effect. Yeah, that's yeah. what I'm saying. So now we got Bao Hyung. I don't. Please don't cancel me. Wow, that was <laughs> fire, bro. That that's I don't know. I don't speak Japanese, but that sounded like on point, bro. <laughs> uh, two. <laughs> I'm sorry, bro. That's really <laughs> uh, two drop, three K power, counter one thousand on play. Choose two cards for your opponent's hand and reveal them. Okay, we're we're having a small talk right here. I think this card is the definition of potential. I see nobody, and I mean nobody, play this card. But you can't tell me for two energy, which is cheap, especially end game. Just having like card knowledge on your opponent is it the most vital thing i can see this game winning you this card winning you games just for information alone yeah i, would I say, think i'll I get better see you running her with uh whoever the fuck gets to do hand destruction so you know what you're taking out yeah, yeah you but well, like well usually when it says uh usually when they trash a card the card usually oh, you know, says they choose opponent trashes one card uh, yeah. yeah 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 they choose but that still i still think just pure information alone I think this card is top tier. I'm not going to say staple or very playable because I know not a lot of people play it, but I can see this game. You play it. You have 10 Dawn. Just use two of them. You find out what they, at least two of their cards are. It's great. Next up is Giovanni with the Basil Hawkins. Basil Hawkins, baby. Uh, four drop, 2K power, 1,000 counter. On play, add one Dawn card from your Dawn deck to your cost area rested. Uh, what's the cost area? Is that supposed to be like your Dawn area? Yeah, Why'd they have the extra text there? I'm pretty sure that's where like you store your dawn area yeah, yeah so all right if it, uh, yeah i don't know four energy to do the i think it's really just it's, uh, I forgot it's literally it, it because the of the trigger, trigger. it's yeah, literally because of the trigger so expensive yeah like honestly this is better than the that that card is worse than the ulti bro. yeah i'm just gonna put this basura you'll never play this if you play literally the only time you're gonna get semi torqued is when you get this from the trigger effect and then everyone's gonna call you a cheater because there's no way you 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 run him just for the trigger you know exactly you're, you're, you're gonna have four of them so you can hit one off a trigger come on <laughs> <laughs> uh next up is gonzalez himself with the baba nuki tap five for him you get a seven thousand beat stick his attribute is ranged counter one i think he's very playable just because he's seven thousand Listen, if this was blue, one hundred percent, I agree with you, baby. I'm with you all there. Yeah, but purple actually has effects, so we don't even need to deal with this. <laughs> I think if we put the scratchman out a pole, which was four for six at potential, we had to put him at good. Bottom of good though. Yeah, yeah it's still generous on our part. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Just because uh, purple actually does stuff, we don't need to play skillless unless you're yeah. obviously running the ulti skillless deck, <laughs> yeah. which he doesn't. Want. Also, I also done. I skipped my cousin. I'm sorry. I just I just don't care about you. But I get I guess I can give you your turn now. Fine, fine. Well, I'll have Kamazo the Manslayer. He is four cost, five thousand attack with one thousand combo power, and his effect on KO. Dawn minus one, KO one of your opponent's characters with a cost of five or less. I think. Uh, I think that is very go oh my fucking god optimus prime what the fuck bro yeah i'm sorry i don't know what's going on i got the cooler on the laptop thing is heating up christ bro it's coming in. i thought the avengers already yeah. took y'all out we better hey, move on top of because i'll red dude right i'll now, get bro. here in red <laughs> bro literally I, I couldn't focus after how much fucking static was just fucking ear raping me yeah you i know, know. She's gonna, i think she's gonna cut this part out I don't know. no you think so <laughs> you know what real quick i just want to add this because i didn't even know this card existed i'm just gonna cheat real quick we're gonna put who's who here because they're essentially the same they're 100 the same card why don't people run the freaking cosmo the manslayer I'm yes thinking the same thing. he's good bro he, i just he, don't think nobody realized he existed no there's it, no way because not only does he swing for life because he's base 5k for one more energy he also is just like five or less like me and geo had a conversation a about it that's a lot yeah that's a lot that kills a kid not a kid a, a law yeah he, he's honestly better than who's who bro i don't know why maybe who's who's only good because if they swing with leader first and they have a three drop on field 
you could kill it if you pull it from life, you know? But even that's super situational. Well, Kit, or isn't because uh, who's who could be searched? Oh, he's not searchable. You're uh, right. Supernova. Yeah, he's uh, green. If they ever come up with green purple, he'll definitely be searchable. I mean, so, yeah, then at that point, you're saying like, oh, let me. uh, Wait, hold up, hold up, hold up. Hold up. He has a that's smile good. tag under him. Nah, I that think mean? he's good, bro. Like, <laughs> wherever we put who's who, he's like right behind who's who. Wait, hold up. No, no artificial, artificial devil. devil. Yeah. Yeah, I was going to say, if it was a smile, was uh, this guy, then those two could be running I, together. I think but, he's not played only because he's not searchable. I think I think he's top of good though. Like yeah, if we're ranking this card alone, his his value is insane. Yeah, I would literally side. Him. I would yeah, sideboard no. him for green if they ever play law, because they're always yeah. gonna play law. Yeah. Nah, that guy's really good. I honestly, when I read the effect of that too, I was like, why have we not seen this card? <laughs> <laughs> he's just he's better than who's who. Yeah, because just especially he's got combo power, bro. Once you play the who's who, he's dead on your field. Yeah. Um. Okay. I. I mean, we brought up who's who, so like he's okay. Actually, we we are forced to put him in staple because he's a staple. But I'm just so surprised he's not. Next up, we got who's who. Uh, two drop, three thousand power slash for one thousand counter, and he has a dawn times one. Uh, if you have eight or more dawn on your field, this character gains plus one thousand power. Ah, so uh, bro, I don't even see no world this guy's gonna play. He if he got one thousand for every dawn, yeah, that'd be great. But one, he gets one extra K. Yeah. But he's, just, he's he's swinging for five for a two, but then he's dead the next turn. Like literally anyone. You know, in what world this card would have been good, especially since it needs eight dawn for the extra thousand. If it even if it stayed as a two drop, but if it had rush. Yeah, actually, yeah, no, nah, that would have been too good. Then, <coughs> no, it wouldn't be too good because then the stipulation is you need eight energy, and even when you use your minus, like your big boy minus dawn effects, you wouldn't even be able to always consistently play him late game until you're back up to eight. Yeah, actually, that makes a lot of sense. It wouldn't be too busted because really, this guy's dead in your hand till turn eight. Yeah, one percent. Turn four, whatever. Even right. three with rush, but yeah, whatever. Okay. Now we go Michael. Who did this art, bro? <laughs> they did this guy so dirty, bro. No, bro. <laughs> okay. Is this how he shows up in the anime too, bro? <laughs> yeah. They took bald head to the next <laughs> level, bro. <laughs> Yo, what do you what are you saying about bald people, huh? You got a problem with bald people? Bald oh, bro. This guy, Mr. Uh, Megamind, bro. What the <laughs> hell? <laughs> okay, Michael, go on. All right, so we got Hukuru Kuju. I don't know if I said that right. Six cost, eight K beat stick with one K uh, combo power. I think he's good. He's good. Like I, I'll put it above the, I'll put him above the ulti. Yeah. Yeah, it's just he's a beat stick. There's nothing really else to say about it. But here's oh, someone yeah. that I would love to step on me, Giovanni. I mean, that's Giov I mean uh, next oh, Hey, bro. <laughs> Listen, bro. First, Gio's been asking for the booty pics in the chat now. This y'all, y'all gotta chill. Uh, African American Maria. He's a four cost, five thousand energy. He has one K combo or counter. He's a blocker on block for negative one dawn. This character gains. A thousand for the turn. Eh. I'm, yeah. Uh, I, get <laughs> I guess if you wanted to save her, maybe. I don't think she's Basura. I think she serves her purpose, and you need investment if you really wanted to get rid of her. I mean, she survives King, so not that bad. Isn't she dating Kaido? <laughs> yeah, I think I would. I think I, 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 I put it Kaido's mid tier good. Or if you guys want to say potential, potential, I, I'm gonna hard stop Basura, Basura though. Yeah. Do you agree nah, with her with Kaido or the card itself? What? Well, I definitely think she's better than all the skillesses in Uti. Oh, I want to know his answer. Okay, so this, right, uh, like right here. No, no, you know what I was talking about. It's just because honestly, bro, you have the freaking Semi Maru Higarashi blocker. Why would you go for the Black Maria? I yeah. mean, the African American Maria. <laughs> <laughs> okay, next up is me with page one. A four drop, 5,000 power, activate main. Once per turn, Don minus one. This character can also attack your opponent's active characters during this turn. Also with 1,000 counter power. Um, 
It's good. Honestly, it's really good. I think it could be low and very playable, high and good. I think he's top of good because he nudges out commas though, the manslayer, just only because he is unsearchable. So you would have to top deck him. Uh, or he's bottom of very playable because getting rid of cards that they want to keep in active mode, like red for their Namis. Their, Wait, doesn't uh, he get brought out? Uh, with the mm. ulti? Yeah. We can check. Hold on. Ulti. Wait, he, does, ulti he does. He does. Right, he does. Yeah, you could. Ulti. You can bring, uh, bring him out. Yeah. Honestly? They're like yeah. a, a combo. If you have the ulti, he becomes a staple. I, I was... think he's in the perfect spot right now. <laughs> yeah, I was going to say top of, uh, top of good, but if he actually, like you said, comes out the yeah, ulti, I think very we'll playable. Drop 5k ulti. What, do we want to put like mid or top or what? Or just bottom? Uh, mid. I can okay. put him above the jack. Okay. Uh, Oh, okay, okay. I don't know do I, I live to please. Really good. <laughs> Wait, you want to show the people ulti as well? Might yeah, be well. you know what? Since we talked about it, we can do the ulti real quick. I just want to add one more thing about ulti. She has a 2k combo power too. So, you know. Yo, add it to the counter. counter. <laughs> ulti, I guess I'll just say it. Ulti, 4 drop, 5,000 power. On play, minus 1 dawn. Play up to 1 page 1 character card with a cost of 4 or less with your hand without paying its a cost. That makes this page one a hundred times better. It's literally the whole reason law is so busted that you're paying two energy for eight energy. This is yeah. four energy for eight energy. And so. then you st and have two characters that can swing for life, right? Is the ulti a staple in Kaido? Please, I play blur Blurple Kaido and yeah. at least my Blurple doesn't have I think ulti. I have her. I have her in mind. Honestly, I think, yeah, we actually should have put them both in staple. All the, yeah. the ulti page one are all staples. And gotcha. Just because they search for a card with a counter as well. I got hold them. Uh, three drop 4k power special. He's got a counter power for a thousand that on KO You can add one dawn card from your dawn deck to your cost area rested uh, If there was a way that if he was a blocker, bro, this guy would be so good. Yeah, I, I uh, There's I the I, swamp dude with a also a KO, but since he's not lethal Yeah, he just sits on field right and he's not a blocker either I think yeah, during I, red, we kind of rated him too high because in hindsight, I would have rated these KO that don't even prove with that type cards. I think they're pretty basura. Yeah, because no one's going to swing at them intentionally like, yeah. to give you a free energy. Like, you're welcome. Yeah, and if you can't attack with them, you couldn't even attack it in the first place. And then you would have to invest Dawn to attack with it. Yeah, nah. Basura. Basura. I'll put it in the top, probably. At least it does something. <laughs> Next up is X Drake. Uh, for five cost, five K power. His effect is on play. Oh wait, two thousand combo more. power. Oh. So you know, run up that number. Up to I four, know. baby. Oh, we gotta be four, what? Five? We gotta be five. Four five. Okay. He said four. We just gotta get five. Okay. All right. So on play, dawn minus one. Your opponent trashes one card from their hand. I mean, I mean it's a staple, bro. It's, yeah, it's pretty good. It's pretty good because you still get to attack with it. Um, the effect is pretty busted. Like, there's not. I, is purple the only archetype that hand destroys, or is there another one? Uh, I, th I, I want to say. Get rid of cards. I thought I thought blue has one that does. Nah, blue grabs back from the trash and it uh manipulates the top. I don't think it does anything hand destruction. It draws. <laughs> Anyways, this is a purple video, so yeah. purple does hand destruction. <laughs> So yeah, I, I think it's pretty much a staple. I agree. And the next card we got here is a four cards. Elephant Marcho. Activate main, KO one of your opponent's characters with the energy cost two or less. Add one Dawn. Card from your Dawn deck and set it as active mode. As a trigger, activate the card's main effect. I said that's really good. You draw it from life. You draw yeah. it from life, yeah, but what are the odds? That's going to be one of your, f like, five cards out of 50. And even more important, how relevant is it two or less? You know what I'm saying? You're, you're I mean, getting rid of a blocker, essentially. Yeah, that's literally what you're doing. Here's I mean, the thing. Four is kind of a lot. You're ramping, so really it's three, but... I will say this. I will say this in, the, like, a defense of something. There has been games where I've literally won because I was able to remove just a single one-drop, 1,000-power blocker. So yeah, I don't no, want to sneeze at that. I think it's probably like top of good. Like especially in Blurple Kaido, bro. Like getting it's two energy you're ramping off of on Blurple Kaido. I okay. Tell me if I'm wrong. 
I Throw. say without the trigger bottom of good without or like above the the skill list but with the trigger like third place good maybe second I say second yeah I'm cool with that okay so next up is we got the artificial double fruit smile man yep. look at the top basura I'm <laughs> <laughs> look at the top five cards from your deck and choose one smile type character cause with three or less from the deck and play it Play the remaining cards at the bottom of the deck in any order. All so right, here's the only argument I could have for it. That is the only way you could search for uh, the Manslayer. Because he's a smile character. No, That's he's the not. the only way you could search for it. It says yeah, yes. a character card that costs three or less and then play it. Oh, fuck yeah, you're right. Man, what is with this ass? Yeah, the smile. Like, And here's the thing. I, we'll just do it because, a lot, wow, Purple has a lot of cards that link with each other. Um, We have one. Is it only one? No, there's two. There might be a third one. If we see it, we see it. It your literally two options are Sheep's Head, which is a 2k four cost, one count one thousand counter power, and Ginromi, I don't know what that is. One three thousand, I believe, and one thousand counter power, their skill is you know what? Together forever, the board, they're all in trash together. Alright, uh we got Sheep's Horn. So it is a two cost activate main, you remove a dawn, rust one of your opponent's characters with a cost of six or less. Nah, bro. This ain't in theme with purple, bro. This they should have given this to. They did give this to green. I don't even. <laughs> it's not bad. I mean, it's good. Not in theme with blue and purple, but I still say. It's... No, I think, I think it could be good. good. It's still good. It, it, no matter what, it's still good. Like you said, two drop. You get a blocker out of your way. It's fantastic. Not even a blocker. You can get rid of like a five drop or a six drop, and just just swing at it, right? Like there's I some. Like imagine like. Uh, you have a, I forgot current cards, but there's a card that's a five or six drop That says when attacking this is when you get your skill popped off You can then kill their one attacking they don't won't get they won't get the benefits out of it And it's only two energy Yeah, I don't know. What do you think Mike? Uh, fuck, I think it'd be in it would be in good wait Geo Doesn't I, green low and very playable. I wouldn't I, doesn't green literally have a card exactly like this yeah, but you don't have to remove a dawn. Yeah, yeah but the thing is, the, the entire thing of purple is you got to ramp up and like lose some stuff. Yeah, I, I, I'm I, like, it's it's not a bad card. I'm just saying it's not in theme with purple, which is crazy. I mean, but it's it's not okay. bad. It's a good I card. Just, I'll put it top of good. To I'll put it top of good. Literally everything in purple is KO'd so far. That's the first rest card I've seen. Well, next up is Ulti Mortar. Um, it is a one cost counter card, which is for dawn. For minus two dawn, your leader or one of your characters gain plus two thousand power for this battle. Then you get to draw a card, or you could, if it's uh, from your life and you trigger it, you add one dawn card from your dawn deck and set it to active. I think this is a uh, very playable, arguably staple, because this is one of uh, purple's main counter cards that you use. I think this is definitely very playable. Yeah, um, it whether it's staple, like I said, I don't play purple, but if I wanted to draw one, I would play Love Love Beam in Blurple. But yeah, in pure purple. purple, this is really good. I, like, personally, I, I run pure purple, I don't run it. <laughs> like, most of the time when I'm removing Dawn, it's for like getting rid of stuff on your field. Just to draw a card doesn't really. I don't so, know. how it's about this? Enough. If we, if, because we all like this card, it feels like. You don't run it though. How about we just say bottom, very playable, call it a day? I'm cool with that. Uh, bro, that's literally why everyone's running the, the Orochi. Because think about it. Orochi is a 2k combo power, and it doesn't even cost you an energy. This is dawn. a 2k and a draw one. That you get rid of two dawn. Get rid of one dawn. Oh, no, two dawn? No, no. Oh, yeah, it's a minus two. It's a minus two. Minus two. Again, I don't see any world I would actually play this card. Like, I know you guys are, like, really, because the draw one's really enticing, and the trigger is really nice, too. So, I, I won't put it in trash, either. Uh, uh, I don't know. I, Fine. I'll, I'll <laughs> here, how about this? I'll put it in top of good. Or do you want it somewhere lower? Yeah, I'm cool with that. You guys see a lot of potential, and it's good, then we'll put it there. Actually, I'll put Sheep's Horn, because I would rather play Sheep's Horn. And I wouldn't, you know what? Maybe that speaks volumes. I wouldn't even play Sheep's Horn, but I like Sheep's Horn. Alex is up. He's got Thunder Bagu. Uh, two cost has a trigger. Counter your leader or one of your characters gain 4,000 power during this battle. Then, if you have two or less life cards, add one Dawn. Card from your Dawn deck 
and rested. That sounds good. Not to bad. Me. Honestly, I think that's a staple, <laughs> especially for Blurple. You get low so quick. Um, I don't know. I I, I don't I, play it. I agree. I, I think it's staple. It's meta. Staple. You think so? It's broken. Yeah. <laughs> I mean. Green green has a better is it red? I can't remember if it's a green or red card, but green, they have the same thing for one energy and it, you get 4k But you don't get to add a dawn But then this card huge. is so dead on but the bad thing about this card It's dead in your hand until you're down to two You wouldn't which play this I mean, no, there's also the trigger effect which okay. Yeah, I guess the trigger effect isn't the best but still Bruh, it most decks you you're taking your first three life quick who defends the first three like May decks with four life yeah, yeah, okay. Four life, yeah. But even <laughs> even then, bro, it, it's so easy to get down to two, bro. Like, I don't know. I think the card's fire, bro. 2k4 and you add it on, like... Yeah, but, like, unless you're playing Rush or you have a multicolor, the odds are you're not really, like... They're not swinging, run, like, yeah. 20... You would have to pass two turns already. No, three turns until yeah, well, you... Turns Turn two, you're playing Onigashima. We've been over this, bro. So you're turn one, you're taking the hit. Turn two, you're taking the hit. You're down now to three. If they swung again, you're already at two. I think your math is wrong because you can't attack your first turn. Oh, well, whatever. But you know what I'm saying. They're like third turn. That thing is going to be live. <laughs> okay, I'll let everyone says it's good. Okay, so what do you guys say? I like, I don't think funny. it's bad. I just, I, I, I just don't, I don't see the level you guys see it on. I agree with you. I'll, I'll have to see some more of the counter cards, but I think it's definitely going to be one of the better counter cards for purple. So what, top of very playable, or are we finally putting a uh, counter in staple? Because we have not put a counter in a anything other than good yet. I, I've got to say staple, just because it's a counter. Okay. Do, you, uh, do we run? I run it in my, all my decks. Yeah, U Union Armada, that's the staple one. But Here's the I, thing. I, they do run Thunderbug, too. I, I take the trigger as a caveats you know it's my little cherry on top of a sunday i never think a trigger should decide whether a card goes between staple or like very playable because like i said when it happens you want a nut right but it, the, the chances <laughs> are you know it's not gonna it, it, there's a good chance you might not happen so yeah, let's you get like a five percent ten percent chance next up is seven drop eight thousand power guide activate main dawn minus two this character gains banish wow crit okay during this turn um i think it's great i think there's better kaido cards i think yeah. there's better cards in general for seven energy i think this is the definition of top of good because i yeah. think i would rather play this king get rid of two blockers than play this kaido yep I completely agree. So here's All our right. first great card, but like there's just better options. Exactly. He he's, uh, definitely deserves top of good. Yeah. But anyways, next up we got the eight drop Kaido. Yo, whoever did the art for this gets a crisp high five. This is so clean. I did All it. Right. It's, it's, you, you got paid a lot for it, I hope. <laughs> eight cost, 9,000 power special. End of your turn, add one Dawn card from your Dawn deck and set it as active. Honestly, I love this card. It is so good. <laughs> Literally, always getting a free energy. Between Onigashima and this, you're so set. You yeah. play whatever you want, minus whatever Dawn you want. Once you get him and Onigashima out, you're so set in a purple deck. It's not even funny. That is like, true. Uh, it's you, nasty. You just ramp up are really we easy. stapling or are we meddling? Mm, I don't know. Because, I want to say meta. Joel I want to say Joel would, would scream possibly meta, so I don't know. I, I feel like it's going to be meta. Okay, we could put meta. Yeah, okay. I think it, it ain't it ain't going away for a while to be honest. No matter <laughs> what, between staple and meta, we it means it's always gonna be in the deck. Well, since we're on the trend of Kaidos, the next Kaido is a nine drop ten thousand uh attack. So his effect is on play, dawn minus five, you may KO up to one of your opponent's characters with a cost of six or less, then this character gains rush for the turn. Throw that boy to the tip top. Throw him to the top of the mountain, baby. Right, he's, he's just so he's fucking the good. The Kaidos are so great. Literally, <laughs> rip this How Kaido, bro. Choose? How can you even choose? <laughs> that was Kaido in his younger years. No, but I completely agree. Um, we go back to the thing. You can either get rid of a strong card they have on field, obviously six or less, or get rid of a blocker. And like I said, a single blocker can save you the game, can save you the turn rather. So, I think this Kaido is great. 
possibly meta. I think that's it. Okay, Alex with the king. King, six cost, seven K swinger. On play, minus one Dawn. KO to one of your opponent's characters with entry cost four less. Six for a seven, then you get to KO something. Yeah. yeah it's very playable. I, yeah. I, if not I, stable. Here's the thing. I think he's staple in a blurple deck. I think he's staple on any of the purple decks, bro. He he literally was the reason I won the game to you this week for our purple video. Yeah. Hey, no spoilers. Oh. <laughs> well, the no, the video purple video will be here. out first before this. <laughs> yeah. yeah, learn our upload schedule, asshole. Like, hell. <laughs> no, I'm joking. Uh, I think in blurple, he's stable. But if you're saying he's stable in every purple deck, I mean, that just means he's stable. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, no, nah, he's so good. He's not that easy to remove. He gets rid of something big, you know, because yeah. uh, the who's who couldn't do it. So that was able to get in there for me to get he, rid of your big blocker. Exactly. He's what blue is. He's like blue. They needed a good on play effect and then they can be vanilla beat sticks. He's exactly that. A great on play effect. And then he's just there until they invest like power into it, you know, attack power. Yeah. Okay. Ween for five power, six thousand uh six thousand wait, five energy six thousand power, <laughs> my bad. Counter one thousand, locker on play minus one dawn, draw two cards and discard one card from your hand. I think he's staple. Uh, not only is a good blocker, not only is a six thousand, so you could literally block one turn. If they don't invest, then you could uh have him as an attacker for next turn when you have more shit to attack with. I think he's great. And he draws you any poopy cards, especially we know Onigashima. It can fill up your hand. He can cycle those out. I think staple. Yeah. Easy staple. Easy right. staple. Next up, we got Sasaki. Three drop, 4,000 power, a shooter, uh, counter 1,000 power, and then on play for a minusing one Dawn, you draw a card. Uh, trash. <laughs> You're not going to actually swing with the three energy is kind of a lot just to draw a card. Yeah, that you want, like, you'd rather play queen all day. Uh, I'm gonna say top of trash. If he, if the Don minus one wasn't a thing, I think he would have been like just straight up like. Yeah, because at I, least they, they have the same thing for red. I forget what that guy's name is, but at yeah. least you know what I'm saying. But he's a one, and then he recycles. This would be a three. So he, I guess, for two more Don, you wouldn't need to like cycle in a card. It would just be a pure draw. But I think it's just yeah. pure basura. Well, okay. next up, we have uh, Jack, 3 cost, 4k, and 1,000 combo power. And his effect is on play, you may discard one card from your hand, reveal one Dawn from your Dawn deck, and set it to active. So he's like, isn't he almost the same thing as that one ulti that we saw earlier? The 2 drop? Or what? No, there was another uh, card. I mean, you get to set it to active as opposed to rest, so I guess that's a little bit better, but... Like, I mean, I'm gonna yeah, get I don't know just if that's like good. A here, but I have no idea what that reveal one. Yeah, I, I was, I was thinking that too. Like, I'm, what the I'm thinking like, was there something you wouldn't hit a dawn? <laughs> <laughs> um, I would say good. Yeah, you can run him. He'll give you value, but like, there's definitely more cards to play. I would rather play. I would put him under like, either above the Black Maria, or below one of those two. Yeah, I mean, ramp is gonna be fire though, so... I'll put it, I'll put it in mid. Yep, I agree. Yeah. Two cost, 2k, blocker, with a 1k counter. I say staple. No. Meta. Wait, hold on, does, does purple not have its 1k blockers? It doesn't. I was just thinking the same thing, bro. No. Purple doesn't have a 1k blocker. Holy crap. Is she actually staple? Yeah. There's no Bruh. way. <laughs> I just last check it too. They don't. There's more two drop blockers. Wow. That's insane. Wait, there's another two drop blocker? Who is it? Yeah, coming up next. Oh. Not next. Oh, wait, no, that's the altar. Oh, <laughs> that was the altar black Bria. You dumb. There is there's a two there is a two <laughs> drop blocker, but it's gonna come back a little bit later. <laughs> Um, I guess if you listen, I didn't know there was any, I didn't know there's not a one drop blocker. If you all think it's a two, if it's a staple, because it's essentially the one drop blocker, I'll put it at staple. Blocker. Yeah. 
Well, no, it's not your cheapest blocker. Remember, you do have the Semimaru Higurashi. You definitely play that over her still. So do you think because of these two, we just say F Black Maria, like put her in like good or something? I don't think she's trash. She's, she's a cheap blocker playable. option. Yeah, I mean, very playable? Good, yeah, no, and very, very playable, playable way actually. too high, bro. Like, like I was saying, what? she's so cheap and you don't have that many blockers. All the other blockers are like four to six. She's Remember, like blockers are super important in this game. Yeah. Yeah, but that's what I'm saying. You set up the Higurashi Summer Maru. How many blockers do you need? What yeah, but there's multiple blockers? cards that can get rid of both of these. There's only one blocker up there? Come on. Literally, like 80% of the event cards in this game can get rid of the, this easily. That's, one of, that's the cheapest blocker for purple. I mean, unless you're running Blurple Kaido, where you have the option with blue and they're one drop blockers. Yeah, for just yeah, low, that makes it's sense. Super right, yeah. Blurple if you're not running Ka Blurple, yeah, Blurple Kaido literally runs the one drop laws. I didn't even think about that. That that this is why, because they don't have a cheap one drop blocker. We'll leave her at uh, top of good because more blocker, right? I think we mean I bottom very. Oh, we're leaving her very play bar. That's fine. Okay. Um, like just an instant. I yeah. guess we're putting it as staple. The value is insane. Yeah. Page one, yeah. four drop, six thousand power. Because you play this minus one Don, you're you're getting a six K swinger. If anything, I'd put him kind of below, only because doesn't the other uh I put him like, like yeah. I'll put him bottom like right of staple. Yeah, that's perfect. That's perfect. Okay, because you would rather have this page one, but like I said, this page one's also really good. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Uh all right, next up we got a three cost five thousand power slash X Drake for one K counter power. Eh. It's not bad. It swings for damage, but I don't see people actually using it. <laughs> Put it in basura. Really? Why would you play that just to get a great? Yeah, the yeah. card looks cool, but other than that, he's it's just a three cost five thousand. I don't think it's basura. Wait, is it a five? Oh, it's a five thousand. Oh, my yeah, bad. I, yeah. I thought it was a three for three. I mean, I'll put it. I'll put it like, it's like bottom of good. Why don't no? I put because we have a four six right here in Scratchman Apu. Yeah, I'm, bro. Purple. No. All, all the purple cards have effects. Why would you run this? I'd say potential. Potential. It's, it's not even for like the the ulti skillless package. While we're at it, next is the all star special. Uh, for four cost. You mean it is calamities. An, uh, event card. Calamities. Oh yeah, you're right. All star <laughs> calamities. What the fuck did I say? My all star special. My man was. Bro, I'm sorry. Ramsey. I've been thinking about Denny's all day, bro. <laughs> With the freaking uh, stay tartar and some caviar. <laughs> you better put a Denny's platter in the fucking video for that. You better put a. No God! No God! Please no! 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 But it's effect. Draw one card, then add one Dawn card from your Dawn deck and set it to active. And the to trigger is you activate the main. I, I guess that's a very playable. I to think draw a card, set it to active. You can argue good. Four Dawn is really expensive. But yeah. it, you get an active... Wait, do you get an active Dawn? Yeah. 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 Dude, that's... I don't know. That's not bad, but no one runs it. Here's the thing. Here's the thing. I'm going to... Can I just listen to my reasoning? I think this no. card is great. Can, is it legal to put a card in very playable, but say, hey, no, we understand nobody runs it? Yeah. Is that legal to say, or do, or do we just put it atop of good? Yeah, my old major was terminology, and I didn't see nothing against the United States law for saying that. What? <laughs> so you're saying it's legal? I'm just telling you, it is legal. <laughs> um. Yeah, we'll leave it in good. I'm chill with it. Okay. It's good. Energy ramp's always going to be good. Three, yeah. And then if you ever get, like I said, I don't think triggers determine a tier but if you ever get a trigger this is amazing like this is a top tier trigger yeah. okay uh next up is alex barochi bomber rakio oh what did i say <laughs> brochi like a rochi but he went to cali bro he's like what's up dude i want to pop a white bro. claw <laughs> he's a bro <laughs> A six cost, activate main, KO one of your opponent's characters, energy cost six or less, then add one Dawn card from your Dawn deck to your cost area in active mode. Trigger, add one Dawn from your Dawn deck to your cost area in active mode. Throw him to the top of the mountain, boys. He's a hey, staple. Staple or meta? 
<laughs> Maybe, I don't know. You I, could put dude, it in six? I think meta. It's super good. The only I, bad I, I, thing I, I, is it's a six for six, right? Like, if it was a five for six, four for six, I can easily yeah. say this is meta. But, like, you're yeah. still at least getting an energy as a ramp, too. Yeah, and Blurple, you're getting two. <laughs> yes. Yeah. yeah. Okay, yeah, I'll, I'll say possibly meta. I, I can see that. Okay. Um, easily, probably the most staple negate in there. I mean, I just said staple, so I'll put it in the top. Blast Breath for one energy, minus one Dawn counter. Uh, for this battle, your leader or one of your characters get plus 4,000. It literally just is just getting benefit from the... It's a one for 4,000, and other than, I believe, Radical Beam, we don't have a one for 4,000. But it's technically yeah, two for the minus one. It's a staple right now. Yeah. Yeah. Just Pop it a mountain, baby. Yeah. <laughs> honestly, so let's tell them what the effect is. Onigashima honestly, it's three. staple, but it might even be meta because if you don't see this card, I you're fucked. going away, bro. We'll, yeah, we'll see think... when they come out with other uh, like stage cards. But for right now, bro, the thing's so good. Activate main. Three cost. You may rest this card. Uh, if your leader card's an Animal Kingdom's pir pirate. Add one Dawn card from your Dawn deck to your cost area and rest. So, so good. I don't know if we really need so to talk good. about it. Free energy ramp every turn. And the only reason, in my opinion, ex executive decision, it's not in stable, is because if you don't see this card, purple is not working. You, you're guaranteed a loss if you don't see Onigashima as soon as possible. Yeah. As soon as possible. Okay. Next up is Ain. Uh, she's useless. Four cost, 5,000 power. On play, add one card from your Dawn deck and set it as rested. I wouldn't say she's useless. She still goes right. for life. Yeah, Ooh. it goes for life and you you ramp. Like, it's not terrible, I mean, but it, I other, hate that it doesn't other have cards that are counter. I put her at, like, end of good. She, I she'd be not very... end of good. Like, she'd probably be put very... next... okay, Yeah, here. she'd be very playable if she had counter power. Like, I say really... right here because at least she's searchable. But they're both attacking. They're both for this ramps. We have on she's a two drop 3k blocker that works with the film deck so she's very play like i don't know should we say very playable just because she's like a really good card in the film deck or like in general because like i mean for purple she's good but for film she's very playable maybe even a staple for, for films i don't know here's the thing would you play these two over this is the question for uh purple in generic purple decks, I would definitely play uh, Semimaru and Higurashi over uh, Ann, but in film, obviously I'm playing Ann over them. Because it's searchable. Yeah, and you get the buff off the ulti lead. You mean Shanks? Yeah, Shanks. Ulti's red. Oh. Okay, I can put her staple because I guess they don't have a one drop blocker. Um, Next up is me with the Uta. Uh, honestly, she might even i think she's meta four drop five thousand power blocker on block dawn minus one rest one of your opponent's characters with a cost of five or less this can oh yeah this yeah, can stop two attacks great. yeah literally so good <laughs> possibly meta there's a reason why even though she's not searchable in every purple deck she's, she's almost in every, in every yes <laughs> almost in every purple deck speaking of almost in every purple deck uh karina a two drop 3000 power wisdom for she has a counter power of a thousand that you can activate main once per turn rest this character and trash one film type card in your hand if your opponent has more dawn cards on their field than you add two dawn cards from your dawn deck and rest them again in the film card she's so good she's a staple yeah like but it's, and especially for some reason too like it's just a, it's a great way to ramp yeah like, I'm, I'm word vomiting but any purple decks running her she's staple no no not in every only because you need a film to trash. If you don't have a yeah. film, she's dead. Most most purple decks are running the film engine right now. Yeah, just but think about it. Uda the for a fact. Ultra, the Karina, the Anne. Other than Uda and Karina, who else are they running? The Anne. <laughs> and you'll see more. The The rest of the film cards are coming up. Yeah. Actually, yeah. Actually, I just looked at, like, I can name two of them right now. Yeah. Okay. Oh, uh, next up is Guild Tesoro. He is a 5 cost 6k special type card. His effect is when attacking Dawn minus. You lose two Dawn, you draw two cards. Um, No combo don't say power. It. Don't say it. I know you don't like this card, Michael. So don't, don't you say it. 
Put him at the bottom. Yeah, very everyone playable. runs that like a oh. one of. Bottom very playable? I 100% agree. Yeah. I think right, yeah. no, only he... because the 6K, like I gotta, I gotta put a dog, I gotta combo out combo yes. him basically. Yes. That's the main reason. The, the he's, he's not really for playing. me. But the fact that he he can help you search through your deck, I know he. I can acknowledge that he's very playable. You need investment. He draws you two cards, and the minus two isn't that bad. Literally, you could swim with your leader first, put two under him because now we know how minusing Don works. Play him for five. Oh well, you know, in a turn he can attack, right? And then uh, just put the two you put under your leader and just put it to him. I think I think it's great. I think he's great. He's great. Yeah. Um. One drop Gordon, three thousand power. If we talk about him, this video is already an hour and like fifteen minutes. Let's let's yeah. get to the Lord, <laughs> fucking great, bro. <laughs> Shiki, I love Shiki. Right. Even though it's not my turn, fuck y'all, bro. For six cost, seven K. If you have eight or more Dawn, this card can't be KO'd in battle. That is amazing, bro. Yeah, he's staying around. He's one hundred percent better in Shanks than he is in like. Kaido. kaido or something because they have a lot like kaido even kaido's leader is a minus seven on the lead oh, ability no, yeah. um if you play any of the big kaidos or even bullet we'll get to you he's finally vulnerable but i agree i think he's i think I, he's better he's better than king queen and whoever the fuck's in between i'll put top yeah. very playable yeah 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 okay so now we got geos with uh his future wife uh what what <laughs> <laughs> is that even a girl? I don't know, dude. That Scarlet looks like a sounds like a girl's name. Oh yeah, it's the it's the girl getting held by the monkey. Okay, uh, two drop, <laughs> three thousand power striker. Got a one thousand counter trigger. Play this card. Uh, trash. Yeah, yeah. There's, yeah we there's ain't no. gonna talk about it. It's it's. <laughs> um. Now we have Z Z. Uh, seven drop, eight thousand power. If this character battles with a strike attribute character, this character gains plus 3,000 power during this turn. Activate main once per turn. Don minus one. This character gains plus 2,000 power. So it says character, so you couldn't like screw over a leader, Luffy, like immensely. But for seven energy, minusing a Don, and if you fight uh, a, what's it called? A strike character, you're already at eight, nine, 10. 13k this could easily kill a kid by itself yeah that, I, that's I, I think that's the main reason you do run it to be honest just for that but most of the time it's just a regular eight but it's not even it, for it's minus one dawn it's a 10. i would minus the dawn especially with play and like, yeah he's one of those boss monsters that actually comes with like pretty good value to him i would i would put it maybe a top of the shiki because like i said since there's so many minusing dawn effects the shiki in theory won't last like long or like have all that protection rather he wouldn't he doesn't have his protection 24 7. so i put this yeah. over okay next one we're not even gonna pretend he's not meta okay what i thought he was about automatically to stable <laughs> eight drop ten thousand power special activate main once per turn you can minus four dawn then rest two of your opponent's characters with the cost of six or less then he gets a double attack during the turn. So he deals two damage instead of one. Fire. This card <laughs> is disgusting. Gonna... Yeah. Double attack is always going to be so good. <laughs> and he's just a 10k that's going to be hard to get rid of. And like six or less, there's no blockers that are seven or more. So like, or so like, he's rested. You could literally, since there's only a five character limit anyways, he can rest only half of your blockers, your current blockers on field. It's crazy. Yeah, like you're... Your opponent really has to like figure out how to get rid of him on their turn but there's no way really that easy that yeah. i can think of uh next one is a three cost or a three drop 5k bakak did you say, <laughs> did you say what bakak but rooster added in a brewster <laughs> oh, oh. bakara <laughs> oh no, i think a... where do we put the three for five like right here like nah, yeah. it's really good it's yeah, good it and it, it's good in film because remember film you're boosting up these skillets and so it'd be skillet seven. no you're not boosting up skillets you're boosting up film yeah well, whatever you, you could hit already before the boost that's really I, good i'm not gonna put in potential then i'll put it in good yeah yeah that's fine with me okay it's just because it's not good for every purple you know but still yeah. for the film it's good okay so 
Then are we just putting this one also in good because it's a four yeah, or yeah, six? Yeah. Okay. Exactly the same thing. I will say the next one. Uh, we we met our quota. He has two thousand combo power. Yep. Bam, bam, bam. Right, Gio. Gio's giving everyone who follows a hundred dollars each out of his own bank account. I'll send you his address. I'll send you his social security number. Say hey, everyone, everyone in the chat, drop. I said five, bro. <laughs> I said four or five. But uh, Buena Fista, it is one cost, zero attack power, two K combo power. His effect is on play. Look at the top five cards in your deck. Reveal one film card other than Buena Fista and add it to your hand. Then add the other cards to the deck in the bottom in any order. Uh, I think this is a staple because it's like your cheapest searcher. Yeah, he's actually the best searcher just because he's the only one with 2k combo power. Yep, I agree. I agree. And honestly, the film cards are some of the most strongest cards we've gotten. I'm so, telling you, they, they throw them in all the purple engines. Like, it's, yeah. it's, it's so good. Like it's the, the bullet alone... <laughs> is insane and the fact that we got our staple searchers for you know the color or slash archetype having 2k power insane dude um okay i know he's film and i just want to rush a little because we, we are almost done uh, you dr can, indigo him, two two dawn for 4k power because um, he doesn't hit, he doesn't hit for base before the boost so i don't like that yeah so i'll say potential because potentiality he still goes with lethal with the effect um then we have Line Strat, Imperial Earthbrind uh, for 3 Dawn main, Dawn minus 2. Kill up to one of your opponent's characters with cost of 5 or less. Trigger, add one Dawn card from your Dawn deck and set as active. Stable. Stable, honestly. Maybe, possibly, meta. Uh, I think more stable. I think the Kong's, the, the Brachial Bomber is more meta. Yeah, yeah, that's true. And then we'll end it with the last one, obviously. For 2 energy counter up to one of your film type leaders or characters gain plus 4,000 power during this battle if that card is a character that character cannot be KO'd this turn honestly that this can save some a, a lot of your cards yeah especially like i said most of the purple is running this film engine anyways so yeah. all of these ultis like that that ulta you want to save when you block with her yeah you're you're good <laughs> she yeah. ain't going nowhere like super staple but I, especially I let's say it's, it's a purple versus purple deck let's say like we said you can come you can swing with everyone first and then you know go with a uh purple kaido you just play this guy and now you just saved your card from getting nuked yep so yeah i think i think what are we saying like very playable or staple because it's only good with film yeah uh most of the purple is running film anyway so i don't know uh, uh, I'll let's put just it put bottom. very playable all right, all right, all right okay and yeah that's our tier list um i hope if you enjoyed if you thought we were wrong just say you're stupid freaking this diabetes type 2 should be on top of meta you know but if you like our <laughs> video if you like our commentary if you like our jokes uh i hope you like and sub and yeah anything else final words from you now i hope you guys enjoyed the purple video make sure to like subscribe leave a comment follow our socials we post videos every tuesday every thursday and sunday at two and uh, yeah, hope you enjoyed. See you on the next one. Amen. And praise the Lord.